Hello my little poltergeist and welcome to another Spooktober video and yet another ranking because why the hell not? Today I will be ranking the poltergeist films from worst to best so let's step into the light and do this thing. In fourth place is Poltergeist, released in 2005 and directed by Gil Keenan from a screenplay by David Lindsay Abair. It's a remake of the 1982 film and is the fourth and final entry in the Poltergeist film series, or at least so we think. In it, a family whose suburban home is haunted by evil forces must come together to rescue their youngest daughter after the apparitions take her captive. I had seen the remake before I ever saw the original and it does nothing for me. I felt it had a very arrogant, petty tone, especially among its characters. The remake really is a slap in the face to the original and isn't even as good as the original by a fraction. So many changes, none of which makes this film better than the original. If anything, they really make it worse or at least more bland. They've made so many of the characters unlikable. This film is just trying to show off, it just didn't get my attention as much as the original. You could feel this was trying too hard. In third place is Poltergeist 3. Released in 1988 and directed by Gary Sherman and written by Sherman and Brian Taggart, it's a third entry in the Poltergeist film series and in it Carol Ann is staying with her aunt in a high-rise building where the supernatural forces haunting her make their return. Good acting, but holy moly this story was ridiculous. The dialogue was insanely repetitive, characters just saying the same things over and over and over again. I'm now sick of the name Carol Ann. You can only hear it said so many times before you go insane, and in this film it was said 121 times and that is not an exaggeration, you can google it. I think it's cool they were able to bring her actress back, but the film does a bad job at connecting to the other films. It's an okay watch, especially if you're watching the series, but it's not that great a film, especially on its own, it's just okay. Hey, I don't blame people for thinking the franchise is cursed. Dominique Dune was murdered at age 22 after filming the first film. Julian Beck died of cancer after filming the second film. Will Sampson also died shortly after filming this film, but he had been sick for a very long time. And Heather O'Rourke, who played Carol Ann, died from cardiac arrest at age 12 before post-production was completed on the third film. That's a lot of bad luck. I think many of the film's issues come from the fact they tried to complete a film without the lead actress. No one wanted to finish this film after Heather passed away, they didn't see a point, but they were forced to complete it by the studio, much to everyone's upset, and so they tried to write in an ending that could work, but where we never had to see Carol Ann's face or hear her voice, so they finished the film against their will and not even the film they originally wanted. In second place is Poltergeist 2 The Other Side, released in 1986 and directed by Brian Gibson and written by Michael Rice and Mark Victor. It's the second entry in the Poltergeist series and features the return of the original family who were once again confronted by a spirit trying to harm their daughter Carol Ann. As far as sequels go, I didn't hate it. In fact, I rather enjoyed it. I kind of like how they make Carol Ann psychic and have it run in the family. I think at least one of the monsters was truly creepy and disturbing. I also think the backstory of the beast was actually pretty cool, but I think most of everything else was a bit over the top in a way that wasn't necessary and some moments got a bit nuts. I did love that it includes the majority of the cast from the first film, so that was a good touch. Only person not included was Dominique Doon, who played the family's eldest daughter Dana, which <laughs> is my middle name. In real life, Dominique was killed by her abusive boyfriend shortly before the first film premiered. She died at age 22, sadly, so for that reason she was not in the sequel. And in first place, because I really ever go against the first film, is Poltergeist, released in 1982 and directed by Tom Cooper with a screenplay by Steven Spielberg, Michael Grace, and Mark Victor from a story by Spielberg. Set in a California suburb, the plot focuses on a family whose home is invaded by malevolent ghosts that abduct their youngest daughter and the family's attempts to bring her back into the real world. After even a second viewing, this film was still brilliant. I love the clever use of old school practical effects to balance out the very necessary special effects. I think the story is great. I love that there is a final confrontation when you think it's over. The clown attacking the kid definitely made me jump first time I watched it. The creepiest thing about this movie was Carol Ann, no offense to Heather O'Rourke, just her appearance and behavior. I mean, she looked like one of the kids from Village of the Damned, but I absolutely loved it. I think one thing that I love most is when it comes to the family discovering the supernatural activity, it takes a totally different approach. In any other film I can think of, the instant reaction is denial, fear, panic, packing up and getting ready to move. 
this is what we have come to know and expect in films of this nature but in this film it's not like that the initial reaction is wonder and excitement they don't fear the strange activity they are amazed by it and want to play around with it which could very well be a big part of why it escalates because they didn't think to assess danger so when things start to go bad it makes it that much worse still a great approach that is rarely used so I really loved it and there you have my ranking of the Poltergeist films. Now, I know I have once again ranked these films in reverse order, but about that, I actually would technically put Poltergeist 3 and the remake at a tie because I rate them both as like 2.5 out of 5. I marked up the remake after a rewatch because I loathed it the first time, second time I was a little nicer. I considered putting the third film last, but when I reflected on what I specifically didn't like about the remake, it swayed my decision to put it last. But that's enough from me. Now that you have heard my ranking, it's your turn. Comment below and tell me how you would rank the Poltergeist films. I love to see everyone's different rankings. Thank you to all my patrons who give me so much support. I love you guys. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves and I will see you in the next one. But for now, this house is clean.